What it do? T.O. represent BBK TV. Some of the hottest blues I trip D. You don't work, you don't sleep, you don't grind, you don't shine. I promise you I got some of the hottest blues you ever seen with your two eyes. And today, man, goddamn coming to address the problem. Motherfucking neighbors. Bitch ass neighbor's daughter, really. Then cop tried to call the city on a nigga by my dogs being in the garage. And the city come over here, we good, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They want me to register my to my dog through the city. You know what I'm saying? I'ma do that. But uh just so I can just so I can be on good terms with the city, let them know I'm doing my part, you know. But hey, man, all that hating ass shit, bro, I'm tired of it, bro. Well, my dog's over here not minding nobody. My dog's barking in the middle of the day, bro. It's the middle of the day, bro. It's, that is not quiet time, you feel me? Bro, that shit is after 11, 12 o'clock, bro. You come over here and see my dog's in my garage, bro. This is my fucking garage, bro. Mind your fucking business, bro. That's motherfucker's problem, bro. Stay in your own fucking yard. I hate that shit. I honestly hate that shit. I really do, bro. Like, don't mind my business. Mind your business, my boy. Like, real talk. Shit, if I'm out here cleaning up after my dogs and feeding them and shit, yeah, they're going to be barking. They're going to be loud. Okay, man, it's the middle of the day. I'm not doing this shit disturbing the peace. I'm not doing this shit. I'm not doing it early in the morning when y'all when y'all still sleep. I'm not doing it 11, 12 at midnight when y'all going to bed. I'm not doing this shit, bro, unless I'm, unless I'm like, coming home on the weekend or something. I'll fuck with them. But it's on the weekend, bro. But for you to try to say that my dogs are loud and y'all can hear them, I'm outside right now in front of my garage. Can y'all hear dogs barking? No, you cannot, bro. Like, bro, my dogs don't cause a big ass commotion like that. Unless I'm out here with them, playing with them, cleaning them up, feeding them, shit like that, bro. They're gonna be dogs, bro. Just mind your business, bro, because I got my dogs. I got fans in there. We leave a bit crack. Man, it is not hot in there. Them dogs been there all summer. Ain't now dog died. Ain't now dog passed out. I ain't had to rush no dog to the vet for uh to, from overheating uh from from overheating. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had to use no PD light, no lemon juice to save no dog from overheating, none of that. They keep, they stay with water. I constantly, I'm always out here fucking with them, make sure they good, bro. You just hating, bro. Like, like, bro, lay off the gas, my nigga, because cause you probably saw I had my dogs out here running around in the front yard and shit, enjoying they dog life. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they get their exercise. You know, and you want to come hating and try to call a city instead of coming and fucking asking me. You could have came and fucking asked or said something, but you want to call a city. That's just being a hoe, bro. That's just being a bitch ass nigga, bro. That's all that fucking shit is, bro. It's just being a bitch ass nigga, bro, trying to call a city. If you my fucking neighbor, bro, you always waving, smiling and shit, bitch, just come say something. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, your dog's too loud. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, on this or uh, on a certain occasion or, uh, you know, then you think you can quiet them down, bro. Like, all you got to do is fucking come ass, bitch ass nigga, but you want to try to fucking go to the city that's why i hate you hoes bro i hate you hoes man real talk bro you niggas just stay in your fucking place my nigga stay in your fucking place and mind your fucking business bro like real talk bro nigga over there bro you got 10 fucking cars in your shit bro i don't say shit nigga niggas over here got 18 wheelers in the back of their yard bro i don't say shit bro like bro i don't mind i mind my fucking business bro i don't worry about what y'all fucking doing y'all fucking yard but you motherfuckers want to come and goddamn be nosing and be all up in my shit. Bitch, stay out of my shit. Real talk, bro. I'm start cussing all the fucking neighbors out, bro. What the fuck you looking at? What the fuck you want, bro? I see now, bro. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care who it is, bro. But now I don't give a fuck, bro. Fuck all these fucking neighbors around. I cuss all these bitch ass niggas out, bro. Trying to call the city and shit. Because my dog's in the garage talking about they fucking loud. Bitch, fuck you, bitch. How about that? Nigga, all the other neighbors got dogs. And I heard they fucking dog barking all fucking night, bro. Little Yorkies down there on the corner, big ass fucking mutt down there, down there can jump over the fucking fence, bro. Dogs fucking behind me, bro. All them fucking dogs be barking, bro. My dog's not the only fucking dogs barking, bro. You just see my dogs in the fucking garage. My dogs cost a lot of money, so I don't want to have them puppies and shit in the fucking backyard, bro. My fucking dogs are safe in the garage, so when I go to sleep at night, bro, I know they fucking safe, bro. Nigga gotta break into my house to get my shit, then I can blast this bitch ass. You in my backyard, I'm still gonna blast your bitch ass. But regardless, bro, my dogs are safe and secure in the garage, bro. They got fans, they got earth circulation, they get water, they get food, they get all that shit, bro. Like, stay off the gas, my nigga, real talk, bro. I'm not going for that shit, bro. The city came in, the lady was nice, and then when I was at work, so the city came, the lady came and opened the door. Prince and OP, 
they run outside. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as Brittany opened the door, they run outside. The lady see both of them. She say, oh, they in good health. They not being underfed. They getting took in real care of. She said, she said, Brittany, she said, ma'am, I'm not even going to bother. She was like, just get them registered to the city so we don't have no more problems. But I'm not going to bother you. Have a, you have a wonderful day. I see the door is cracked. I see your dog is taken care of very well. I have no problems here. Just try to keep the noise down for the neighbors. And that's it, bro. It was no, it was nothing, bro, because we got papers on our dogs, everything. She just wanted us to register them to the city. Bet. Okay, I'll do that. I told her I got puppies. They be leaving. Trying to sell them. Okay, I don't got to register them. It's cool, man. They puppies, man. Like, come on, bro. Like, like, bro, get the fuck off the gas, bro. Like, real talk, nigga. I got six, seven puppies in that bitch. Nigga, ain't number puppies in my fucking garage, bro. Yeah, they gonna fucking bark. Nigga, they fucking puppies, nigga. Chill the fuck out, nigga. You heard that shit because I had the fucking garage though up and y'all bitch ass wanna pull up. Man, bro, that shit annoying as fuck, bro. Like, nigga, mind your business. Let me do my fucking job over here, bro. Nigga, you acting like this shit dirty, like this shit stank. Nigga, like my dog's not getting taken care of, bro. You ain't got shit to complain about except for my fucking dogs barking because you wanted the city to come over here and check it out. Yeah, bitch, they came over here and checked it out and we good and they fucking left. They ain't had no problems and with no issues, nigga. So, yeah, tear your fucking ass, bitch ass nigga. Don't piss me fucking off. Nigga, I come from fucking work to hear that bitch ass shit. Man, I don't know. Ain't nothing. Hell no. Bro, that shit is annoying as fuck, bro. Like, real talk, bro. Niggas out here trying to fucking want to be um, neighborhood neighborhood watching shit. Trying to be fucking neighborhood security and shit. Bitch, secure your fucking house. Bitch, secure your fucking yard. How about that? And I'm outside fucking speaking loud. I hope I, whoever fuck here, I don't give a fuck. If you got a fucking problem, nigga, come knock on my fucking door and ask me. And when I'm out here fucking clean up, how about you fucking say something? Send a bitch fucking being a fucking bitch and trying to go call the city and shit with that whole ass shit, bro. Nigga, I bust all your fucking windows out your shit. Y'all don't fucking know me, bro. I try to keep this shit cool and cozy, but I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I cause hell in this motherfucker. Real talk. That bitch ass shit. Don't give a fuck about this video getting money, so I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. Come talk about trying to fuck with my dogs, bro. I'm getting on your bitch ass. Nigga, my dogs good over here, nigga. They good. Shit, if I was buying this house, nigga, I would've threw a shed in the backyard, nigga. I would've built something. But I ain't buying this house, so they gonna be in the garage. That whack-ass shit. Call the fucking city. Man, say something. Shit. Fuck you scared of? Knock on a nigga door, you see a nigga out, bro. I'm outside every fucking day, bro. Three, four times a day with my fucking dogs, cleaning them up, doing all this, doing all that, bro. Just say something, nigga. The fuck you scared of? Whack ass shit. Real talk, bro. Cause I stay in this fucking white neighborhood, but I don't give a fuck, bro. I move my family out the hood, nigga. Yeah, we over here in, in, with the white folks. Yeah. Yeah, we over here in a good good neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, my dogs gonna bark. Yeah. All y'all dogs bark too. Shit. Barking like a motherfucker. We barking up a fucking storm. Y'all dogs echo too. How about I start to call the city on y'all dogs? Nigga, I don't say shit. This shit don't, man. Shit ain't that fucking crucial. That bitch ass shit. Shit annoying as fuck. You a fuck what neighbor it was. Nigga, come say something to me. Shit. Call the fucking city. Got me fucking heated today, man. Yeah. Well, besides that, though, man, puppies getting good. Puppies looking healthy. Uh, September 11th, Rumble in the Jungle 2.0. We in that thing. Uh, this Saturday, we're going to Waco. We got a football game. My boy's going to play in Waco, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Out there at Rice Field. So if you're in Waco, pull up to Rice Field Saturday, 1130, man. Watch my boys ball, kick ass. We play uh, North Dallas Gophers or, or some, some, some team like that, man. Well, we're going to come out with the victory Saturday. Last Saturday, we lost. It was our boys' first game. They got scared. They had the jitters. Okay, they, uh, they got shell shot. They couldn't remember what to do. They just they just had a bad game. But we lost uh 12 0, really 6 0. It was like 20 seconds left, and I just went ahead and called a pass play. And they picked it off and took it to the house. But it's all good though. But they only scored six points on us the whole game. So it really was 6 0. I was just trying to do something to see if I can get a big play, and it didn't work. So it is what it is. It was either win or go home. You know what I'm saying? If they had a running clock, the clock wasn't stopping. They only gave us one timeout each half, 20 minutes half with one timeout. They only giving me 20 seconds to call a play and get everybody uh, lined up. It was just, it was really just too much. That wasn't a real game. It was no kickoff. It wasn't no kickoff return. 
we don't practice special teams, everything, and it just it it, didn't, it wasn't a real game. That was just really like a I don't know, like a I don't know what that shit was. I ain't never seen no football game ran like that since I've been coaching, even in flag or whatever. Like, like if we were gonna do that, we could have just did like ten plays. You do ten plays, I do ten plays. You do ten plays, I do ten plays. You know what I'm saying? And we could have just called called it like that, man. But that twenty minute. 20 minutes a quarter, uh, 20 minute halves, clock never stopping. Like even when we running the ball and they going to set it up, clock still going. Even on the penalty, clock still going. Like the clock just constantly going and never stopped for nothing. So we didn't have time to do nothing. We got like two, three penalties in a row and that took off like five minutes from the game, just off two or three penalties. Like that shit was fucking crazy. So yeah, but this Saturday though, man, we're gonna be at the Rice Field, Waco, Texas. Make sure y'all come pull up, show some support. Uh, hit me up, man. I'm being Waco Friday night. Uh, try to find something to do with the boys, somewhere to go. If you're in the Waco uh, area, let me know. You know what I'm saying? We can link up, man. Smoke some. Y'all already know what it is. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, Y'all already said Roman in the Jungle, September 11th. We got Cannibully, uh, Cannibully Meat 2. Uh, September 18th, uh, right after the, to Rumble in the Jungle. That's my boy David Thomas throwing that show out there in Corsicana. Uh, it's an outdoor event. We do have a booth for that. Uh, I will try to make it to that. I know I got a football game, but I think that that dog show is like later on in the afternoon. I think it don't start till like four o'clock or so, something like that. So it's not gonna be during the heat, all up in the heat. So I should be able to make that after the football game. Uh, September 25th, we're going to Oklahoma to play in Oklahoma. It is a show that day, but I won't be able to make it. I'll be all the way in Oklahoma, three hour drive. We playing out there by uh by the Sooners field. Uh we're gonna be down the street from OU. So that's gonna be live. Hopefully uh we need to try to schedule, see if we can get a a visit, see if we can bring the boys on the OU stadium or walk through the um that athletic facility. See if we can get the boys to walk through there and inspire them to go hard Saturday. But yeah, we got a lot in store these next uh two to three months, man. Y'all just stay tuned, y'all stay with us. I'll be dropping, be dropping more videos. I took a little break just to get back rejuvenated and from COVID and everything. So we just got to get back on our schedule, man. But y'all stay tuned. Y'all keep rocking with us. Y'all keep watching the videos. Y'all keep liking, coming in, subscribing. Uh, I really appreciate it. What else we got? Uh, BBK, y'all, we looking at, we about to start our Frenchie line up, man. We about to get us some Frenchies. So y'all y'all get ready, man. Y'all get them pocketbooks ready. Cause we gonna have them Frenchies on deck. Uh, I'm about to switch it up. The dog, I'm selling them. I got some uh, some uh, some new blood that I found that I want to incorporate into my program to go with the blood that I have. So uh, some breedings that I have lined up in store, I am gonna change them up just so I can add some blood to my program. Since I do have a lot of females and I have TPC, I can go, uh, I wanna go, I don't wanna use, I got two studs I wanna use. I got two studs I wanna use, real top, I'm not gonna tell y'all who. I got two studs I wanna use. I wanna add they blood to my program. I wanna add their characteristics that they have to my program. It'll really help me out and get get me to to my vision. You know, so I wanna I want add that blood for shit show, for shit show. One of, one of them is with OP. I'm gonna let y'all know that now. One of the studs I wanna use is with OP and I feel like Honestly, if I use this stud with OP, I'ma get better puppies in TPC and OP through it. TPC and OP through nice puppies. But if I use this stud, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use them. He had a nice $1,500 stud fee, but ridiculous stud, like real talk. Stud really might be underpriced for his stud fee. So I'm gonna try to hop on that so I can use him with OP. And then I have another stud that I wanna use with uh with Cardi after I breed Cardi to Prince though I still do it bring Prince to Cardi and then her third heat I mean her third breeding I'm gonna use this boy to her and that might be her last breeding or I might do the fourth one I don't know yet three or four I'm not going over four breeding but three or four it all it all depend on how everything go we'll see so so y'all stay tuned for that so we will have um so next time OP coming in heat I got a stud I'm using on her and then uh, next time Cardi coming in heat which should I'm, I'm waiting on her to blow up, y'all. Like, Cardi should be coming in the heat any minute now. Next week, two weeks, like, she should be coming in the heat. Like, I just, I, I got it. So, 
I got that down. It's supposed to be September. Like I said, she was she was supposed to be coming to heat around September. So it's about to be September. Oh well, it is September. So sometime around here she should be coming to heat, man. So y'all stay tuned for that. When I announce that, man, TPC puppies uh getting bred, I breed her and then I wait 30 days for confirmation. 35 days for confirmation. Once we get confirmation, I'll let y'all know. Um I already have one person uh, ready to put down deposit so i'm gonna give him the opportunity to get first pick just because he's a, um, a repeating customer he's been rocking with me for a long time you know what i'm saying and, and he already uh hopped on it he he I, he know what he wants so i'm going to uh give him the opportunity to get first pick uh well i have first pick but like first pick from customers so I give him that opportunity and then from there I'll have like two spots open up, one or two spots open up for y'all to drop the deposit. I'll depending all on how many puppies they see what I take up for confirmation. If it's if they just see like four puppies, I won't take none but their one deposit. But if they say five, six plus as usual, I take two to three deposits. That way y'all can get ahead of the game or pan on y'all dog um, and making sure that y'all dog is paid off at the eight week mark. From here on out guys if your dog is not paid off by the deadline i say it is supposed to be paid off i'm charging you an extra 25 dollars a day i'm letting y'all know that now I'm, I'm charging you bro you you're gonna pay for your dog to stay extra bro I, i'm not doing it you're gonna pay for house and board you, you're gonna pay for me having to take care of it after the eight weeks bro if you get a dog and, I, and we got this deadline. This dog supposed to be um, sold November 13th. You supposed to be coming to pick your dog up. And November 13th come, I don't care if your dog is paid off, bro. November 13th come, and you hit me up saying, man, I can't get that 20, 21st. I'm going to have to charge you them eight days, man, $25 a day, bro. So you're going to have to bring that little extra. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I got to, bro. That's extra two hundred dollars, bro. You gonna have to bring that extra two hundred dollars with you, bro, in order to get your dog, bro. I'm, I'm not playing it, bro. House and board, bro. It's not being petty. It's just from the last go around, bro. Motherfuckers taking too long, like putting money up, dog halfway paid off, and you, and you still want to take an extra two weeks, extra three weeks, bro. I'm not playing them games, bro. If you if and if it if it take longer, like if if it's two three weeks past the deadline, your money. We'll go to we'll go to the breeding in the future and i'm selling that puppy bro okay you're not getting your money back but you won't lose it okay it will go to the future to a breeding that's come up in the future and and when you can afford to pay that puppy on time but if you send in 1700 dollars and the puppy's 3500 and, and you can't and it's two three weeks past the deadline look here bro the puppy is going to another home i'm reselling the puppy you know what i'm saying not at full price i'm reselling at discount price because i got your money well, no, nah, not really, because then I'll be losing, because then that 1700 you go, I'm keeping, it'll go to now. So I'll resell a puppy at full price, because that money you gave me will go to a puppy in the future if you want it. Now, hey, if you don't never come back and get another puppy, then you just lose that money. But it, it's no refunds on this shit. You're not about to give me $1,700 and then two, three weeks later ask for it back, bro. That's, that's not how it is working. We're not doing that, bro. If you put in a deposit of $500, man, hey. You need to know once you send that deposit in, you need to be guaranteed that you're gonna pay that puppy off, cause you cause you're losing your money. If you if you're gonna do a payment plan, hey, you better make sure that you got it all situated and squared away, man. Okay, and communication is the key. Motherfuckers can't communicate, you know, and that's really what pisses people off is when you don't communicate and people waiting on payment for a dog. You for be picking up dogs, you say, okay, I'm gonna pay you fifteen hundred dollars Friday. Friday come, you only get nine hundred dollars. Like, bro, that's not good business, bro. You said you was giving 1500 and then you like, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to send the money now, and then you don't tell me that you didn't send the $1,500 to after you send the money. Oh, man, I only had 900 I just sent you 9 Bro, that wasn't the agreement, bro. Like, like, bro, we're not doing that shit, bro. In the future, honestly, in the future, if you're telling me you sending me $1,500, bro, and you only send me $900, bro, I'm sending that money back to you, bro. I don't want it, bro. I don't want it, bro. Like, if if you gon' if you gonna try to get over on a nigga like that, bro, I I don't even want it, bro. I'm gonna send it back, and I'm gonna say, you know what? I thank thank you for being interested, 
but but no thank you man I, I see now you know what I'm saying this is not going how I want it to go okay not going accordingly you're already uh bullshit in the game okay like come come full speed man I mean come come correct okay guys come correct it's just like when you go out here and you go to the big time fortune 500 companies Walmart uh shit like that to make a layaway if you go out in them stores and you know you put in a layaway you put that money down let your ass not go back and pay on that shit. That shit going all the way back. They taking that shit back, bro. They not gonna keep holding that shit for you. You got a deadline to pay, nigga. You don't pay by that deadline, that shit going back and you lose your shit. You get what I'm saying? Same thing like when you go to the pawn shop. Go pawn some shit. You know what I'm saying? And don't meet that deadline, bro. You lost that. You feel me? You lost that. Yeah, it's gone. You lost that. Same thing with a loan. You get a loan, don't pay that loan back. On time. They taxing your ass. You getting taxed extra. You getting charged. You know what I'm saying? They putting that. Hey, they they want that. So it's the same thing here, man. Y'all look at me the same way, guys. The same fucking way. We run a business over here, guys. We not playing none of them games, man. You know you want this puppy. You know what you gotta pay. I told you the price. You signed the contract. You know the deadline. So that's on you. That's your responsibility. That ain't my responsibility. So it ain't me being an asshole. It ain't me trying to get over on motherfuckers. It's, it's respect and it's business, okay, God? It's business, man. At the end of the day, it's business. I'm taking my feelings out of it. I'm, I'm no longer going to feel sad, feel, you know what I'm saying, for you. No, I'm, I'm not, bro. It's in the contract. You signed it. You signed up for this, okay? I don't I don't want you coming thinking I'm going to feel sorry if you give me all these bitch-ass stories. And I, nah, bro. We signed a contract. We got a deal here. The electricity company, water company, they don't care about them sad stories that we be having. They gonna cut your shit off. They gonna cut it off, not pay it. They gonna cut it off. It's over with. You Now you gotta pay to get it cut back on. Like that's just, that's that's how it is, man. Not, let you not pay by that deadline. You gotta pay this, you gotta pay that extra fee, bro. House and board, like real talk. You gotta do that, man. It's just it's just part of the game, man. We're not, we're not playing any games over here, man. This is a, a company, man. BBK TV, man, we're a company, man. We're a business. We're trying to grow. We're trying to get to the top. We're trying to do all this shit legit. You know, so when you come, man, come correct. Don't don't be out here trying to trying to bullshit the game, think you're gonna get over on somebody. Cause it's not gonna happen. It's not happening, man. Real talk. I had that shit. I went through that shit on in the last little where motherfucker take it forever to pay on their dog. I'm not doing that shit no more. That shit is it's stressful, it's frustrating. It makes me and my wife get into it because Brittany was like, nigga, sell the dog. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? They bullshit. But I'm like, nah, just give them time. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, it been, they did pay, but I shouldn't even gave them that time. I shouldn't have. I, but that was just, the, that was just, you know what I'm saying, out the kindness of my heart. That's me because I'm a human. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was just me being human. But after that, nah, bro, I'm not doing that shit no more. I'm not doing that. That was the first time, and that's why I went ahead and went through with it because I didn't set up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't set up for that. I wasn't prepared for that. But for, going forward, though, I'm prepared for it. I'm not having it, guys. I'm not having it. You want a puppy from me? If the puppy is, is is uh how old they is, like, like five weeks, hey, you want that puppy, man? If you, if, I got I got a puppy right now for 2K. You want that puppy for 2K? You send me that $500 deposit? Hey, you need to come get the dog within a week. If you can't come get the dog within a week, don't even call me and, and be trying to put down a deposit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hold this dog for another two, three months. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, two, three weeks or whatever. You put down a 500 deposit. Now you're trying to come. Nah, man. Go and get the money. All right, man. You got 1500 You know what I'm saying? That's cool. It's probably 2K. You got 1500 You send that 1500 You can bring me the rest when you come pick up the puppy. You know, or, or if I'm got to ship the puppy off, you know, you're you going to pay me like once in time for the shit the puppy off hey you can pay me the rest pay the shipper get the puppy to you okay but let's go about this the right way guys treat me just like way you treat the walmart your credit cards you you pay that shit on time okay guys you build all that it's good credit okay that's why uh my boy he got he good for the breeding coming up you know what i'm saying because when he said that with the money he was gonna send he sent it when he came pick this puppy up he had the remaining balance of his money. He wasn't late. You know what I'm saying? He picked his dog up on time. He drove all the way from California to get his fucking dog and got her on time and had all the money. It was no problems, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Smooth business. You dig what I'm saying? Very smooth business. Like, I had no 
altercations, no problems, you know? So that right there gets you good credit, okay? Now he got good credit over here at BBK. So in the future, if he needs something or if a problem go down, I know, man, he good people, something really happened. Okay, so I could take that in consideration. Like, you got to be a credit over here, man. Like, get your credit up, bro. Get your credit up over here at BBK. And now, you know, I can I can trust you. Like, nah, man, he done did business with me before. He not that, he not that type of person. I know, I know he really must be going through something. So, you know, let me let me help him out. Now, the human in me going to come out. We're going to be like, all right, on, this, on certain situations, all right, fuck the contract, bro. What's wrong? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can work with you. But first time buyers... I don't, I, nah, man, come with me, full payment, man. Come with me, correct, you know, it, when, when, the due line, when the due date is done, make sure your puppy is paid off, you know, or communicate with me. You know, the due date might be on a Wednesday, Tuesday. Okay, the due date's on a Tuesday, Wednesday. You don't get paid till Friday. Communicate with me on that on Sunday, Monday. Don't wait till fucking Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait till after the fucking deadline to communicate with me about about you don't get paid till Friday and you knew that she was doing Tuesday. When gonna communicate with me Sunday, Saturday, hey man, I know the deadline Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't get paid till Friday. Is it cool if I pay you, you know, Friday, Saturday when I get off after work? You know, I'll be like, yeah, that's cool, bro. I understand that. You know, that's understanding. That's understandable. I'm not gonna charge you extra for that if you get paid on a Friday and the due date is on a Tuesday and Wednesday, okay? Like, like everything could be negotiable. It could all be worked out if you communicate and let us know. Like, like my light got cut off yesterday. I had the money, but I just didn't communicate with the electricity company, and I didn't hit them up. So you know what they did? Whoop, cut it off. You know what I did? Whoop, called dad. Hey, man, whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, here you go. I damn paid it. Guess, guess what happened? Whoop, cut the lights back on. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's certain shit that handles, you know, you got to handle certain shit certain ways. You know, I messed up, you know, but... Hey, I called, whoop, fixed it, you know what I'm saying? And that that's 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 the key, man. Is it's communication. Like you gotta stay and you gotta handle your responsibility. You know, that was my fuck up. I fucked up on that. I called them before, but I talked to them about something else and I forgot to mention that and I got off the phone and that's what happened. So but it's all good though. Hey, we situated. What's wrong?